plus four times eleven degree centigrade and divided by nine. So that's how the variation happens. What is the desired situation that all nine pixels should be covered by the object so that you get the exact temperature? This is IFOV. This is a very long topic, but I have tried to make it as simple as possible. So fundamentally, all the nine pixels should be covered by the object to be measured, not seen. So make sure that you choose the right product. Next is of course sensitivity. Lower the sensitivity, better the product is. So these are the basic fundamentals before you choose the camera. Uh, these have been done by multiple utilities. Mr. Chavda is from a uh, transmission company, and uh, that is in our DNA, electrical utility. They have been using our camera. This was the camera which was mounted on uh, the van a couple of years back, but now the technology ha has developed a lot. This camera has become very small, very handy, battery operated. It can go in the field with viewfinder and can do multiple different applications when it comes to uh, the utility applications we have got the complete range of product under the umbrella let it be uh, the tiltable optics uh, camera which i'll explain that to you in few minutes or uh, if we want to see sf6 <coughs> uh, sulfur hexafluoride a very nice gas very good insulator it can insulate 400 kV at a small uh, distance but very harmful for the environment one liter of SF6, one liter is equal to 23,900 liters of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So imagine, try to imagine, this is one liter bottle, equivalent to 23,900 liters of carbon dioxide, which is almost equivalent to a fire, fire in the forest. So that amount of pollution it creates for the atmosphere, not good. SF6 is not visible to the human eye, not audible. You can you you cannot smell it as well. But a small portable product, which is uh, visible over here, can visualize that gas from a safe distance. So much so that 0.26 gram per hour leakage can be visualized. That product is also available under the umbrella. Then uh, the same utilities. Let it be production. Let it be generation, uh, substations, or transmission, or distribution. Even solar panels or the wind turbines, they have the firefighting departments as well. So those particular products are also available. I'll explain that to you a little bit more. And if somebody wants to use it for the fixed type of applications, 24 by 7, for example, substation, that also is possible. And for the solar panel application, many people are requesting for the drones that product range is also available under flare band. So this complete structure of products is available for the utilities. What are the different applications for the utilities? Whether it's uh, a fuse to be seen, you can see in this image, left hand side, first one, where you see my cursor. This is white color. Something is getting heated up on this fuse. Distribution transformers, even this fuse, pushing of the transformer. Here the pushing also, and then you can see here the connection is getting heated up. So this all happens from a safe distance without touching, without taking a shutdown. This is the beauty of this particular technology. If something is getting heated up, that means it will be giving the higher, it will be transmitting the higher energy and then higher infrared, and then how we can make the measurement precisely to the tune of 0.1 degrees centigrade with different products. So these are another uh, images. Here you enter into the substation. Within two seconds, you will be able to see where the heat is. Similarly, you can see here cities. Exact temperature of the bushing of the city is visible. Even the battery banks. And this is also a very critical application for the utilities, joints. Cable joints, very difficult to see. Once the joint has been made, you make the ceiling, heat shrink it, how to check it, whether it is perfectly okay or not. But this image, if you see, all the other joints are perfectly okay, or I should say are emitting less radiation, but one joint is having the higher temperature. Clearly shows that there is something wrong here. Now, 
it can be higher current also but then at least you can see whether the current is higher and then you can make the adjustment and take the measurements accordingly so it gives a different perspective it gives a different eye altogether to the operator then transformers major critical area ntpc has written a four page technical paper on this so on a 220 kv transformer they observed that from the top to the bottom there should be a temperature difference of around 21 to 25 degrees centigrade because the oil circulates like this if it is more or less there might be a problem so this they, they call it as the first information report once everything is okay they can proceed if they find any problem here then you can go for the vibration analysis and after that the dga can be performed so but the beauty of the thermal imaging camera is you need not take a shutdown you need not touch anything from a safe distance you will be able to see for vibration and dga you need to touch you need to go you need to take the shutdown sometime so that's how it works then the other critical application is motors now motor doesn't fail over a day it's just, i i call it normally uh, you know like a lipid profile so if your ldl is higher hdl is lower triglyceride is higher you know what's going to happen after 3 to 4 or 5 years similarly is this condition so first it has been observed that the bushing of the motor starts having a problem bearing now the uh, along with that so the bearing has got some wheels into this friction starts resistance increases temperature increases then it goes to the motor uh, shaft and then the shaft gets in higher temperature because of the misalignment and then winding gets heated up and then motor burns so from the day you are having the problem at the bearing level to the day the problem reaches the uh, winding level it doesn't happen over one day or two days so you have got enough time to act and react a thermal camera can add lot of value to all the manufacturing plants here you need not have multiple motors in your inventory so that reduces your inventory cost if you keep on doing the inspection of all the motors regularly after every 2 to 3 weeks and keep on monitoring how the different motors are behaving in terms of temperature it can add lot of value and save lot of money for the organization as well so this is a very good example of one of the application in the manufacturing plant and uh, when it comes to the automotive again multiple different uh, applications this one image shows the volvo engine now if you are into the r and d and if you have to see or want to measure the different temperature at different points here probably you might need 100 electrodes 100 electrodes means 100 wires coming out of it and then you have to analyze it put all the data in the computer and see where the temperature is rising but with a thermal camera one click two seconds and then on your pc you keep on moving your cursor and you will be able to make the measurement of the that particular spot and the beauty of this is even for one spot on the pc you can even change the emissivity so it becomes very easy a very nice tool for all the r and d engineers to evaluate how the engine is behaving or the brakes are running or the radiator is behaving for the brakes it it runs at a very high speed long wave thermal camera might not be possible we need to go to the higher range uh, today since it is a 45 minutes session uh, this topic i can talk for maybe hours and days uh, but this is just an introduction so that particular application is also possible for the automotive under r&d with the help of thermal cameras if we go to the steel industry now you can see in this particular image steel ladle molten steel 1134 degree centigrade is normally the temperature now that high temperature what happens if the insulation fails very critical so <clears throat> they have to maintain a good insulation and a thermal camera becomes very handy so you can clearly see if some insulation is getting problematic so even if you increase one or two turns with the help of a thermal camera of this ladle that saves a lot of cost for the manufacturing company. so another very important uh, application refractory is too you can see here the chimney the insulation is not proper and easily you will be able to fix it and identify where the problem starts and some more images of the insulation friction if something is happening and then oil level of the tank without having any other thing because the emissivity will be different where the liquid will be so the tank level detection 
is also possible with the help of thermal camera with the correct sensitivity and setting of the emissivity. Then comes to different building applications. Again, based upon the insulation, if the temperature difference is there inside and outside, whether it is hot or cold, then the bad insulation will be easily visible with the help of thermal camera. So very critical application for the greenhouse buildings or to save the electricity. Coming to uh, another industrial R&D applications, if any component is getting heated up on a PCB, there are, manufacturing, there are multiple PCB manufacturing plants in India. One small chip, one millimeter, even the integrated circuit is getting heated up. You will be able to visualize. You need a macro level lens, which is available. And that can be precisely make the measurement of. Let it be casting or even the bulb development or even a micro tier plate for the pharmaceutical industry. There are multiple pharmaceutical sectors in western part of India where uh, you are coming from today, Gujarat. So this product can be used for that particular application also. More details, feel free to come back. I'll share my email ID uh, with you, all of you. Uh, during the question and answer session and then drop in an email to me and I'll be very happy to help you. So that was our introduction to the electrical, mechanical, building and industrial applications coming to the firefighting. Again, very critical application when we talk about when during the firefighting, if something is getting heated up or burned from a long distance, very, very difficult to see. But with the help of thermal camera, again, you can see something is getting heated up again the major critical problem comes when the room is full of smoke. Firefighter enters into that. You can't see where the casualties, you can't see where the gas cylinder is lying because that's a major point of concern. If the glass, gas cylinder explodes, there can be a disaster. So a thermal camera can help you identify. Human eye cannot see through the smoke, but thermal camera can easily identify which what item is lying where if there is some liquid or some gas cylinder or any other explosive material is in the vicinity then that can be seen and then another thing is casualty if some human being is there will be visible because body emits infrared radiations at the same time the critical point is when a firefighter enter into that particular vicinity from where the fire is originating from that is very critical information and a thermal camera will let you know so that the water can be used first to dose of that particular part. The last application for the firefighters is when the fire has been dosed off, how to certify everything is okay. Again, a thermal camera is required because if it is not dosed off properly, when the fire gets oxygen, the wind blows, the fire will come back again. Thermal camera can add a lot of value for this particular application. Now, for all this, since the atmospheric conditions will be different than the utility applications you need a different product and hence we have different range of product these products can withstand water splashing it can withstand atmospheric conditions very high temperature these are the different models starting from 1 lakh to even 15 lakh rupees fixed type of cameras are also available for these applications these are nfpa compliant so no need to worry about that as well. Multiple different users are happily using this particular product in India. Similarly, for a situation like this, when you want to have the splashing of uh, water from the fixed installation, then nothing is visible due to the smoke, but a thermal camera can help you a lot. Fixed type of camera can be installed on this particular hanger, and then you'll be able to see that. So this was a basic introduction about the firefighting applications. Now coming to uh, the elevated skin temperature, much talked about thing, but very little uh, knowledge even today, COVID. So when you switch on your TV, all the news channels are talking about the thermal cameras, but very little information about the technicalities behind this. So uh, these are the different papers which have been uh, published. Now, how the EST application works, very important thing to understand here. This is not a magic wand again. Now, the ideal situation is the person should walk one by one to the EST screening. 
EST should be done. EST means elevated skin temperature on the human face should be done. If there is no elevation, that can be passed. But if there is an elevation, then a medical evaluation should be done. This particular device alone cannot tell if somebody is having a COVID or not. Sorry. This device can only tell whether somebody is having a fever or not without touching it, the person, and without sending any waves towards that person. Thermal camera is just a receiver. It will receive the radiation and it will let you know how that person is behaving. So this particular slide explains how this complete solution works. And uh, this particular technology is also very, very critical to understand. I'll explain that to you. What are the fundamental things to be looked at? It's not the forehead, unfortunately. So I'll explain that to you uh, in a few minutes from now. If we talk about the history, Flare has got a very long history uh, of this particular experience. Uh, we started our first selling of these cameras for this application under SARS, and then we got the FDA approval, H1N1, Ebola, and then now the coronavirus. Now the critical aspect comes is, after all this, what we have learned. The main thing is when somebody has to be seen for the elevated skin temperature, it should be on the tear duct, not the forehead. Why not on the forehead? If somebody is wearing the hat, or it's coming from the outer sun, or even if somebody has drank a coffee, then the temperature might be different. But with a tear duct, it will not tell you the lie. And that's why IFOV becomes very, very important here also. Different cameras have got different distance to be measured, and that's how you have to use the camera and select the distance accordingly. So very important to see tear duct. Now for this, Somebody has to remove the glasses, stand in front of the camera because infrared radiations cannot pass through the glass. It's not flare camera, but the technology has the limitation. So remove the glasses, stand in front of the camera for milliseconds. We say one second, but actually it is 20 milliseconds. Stand in front of it, camera will take the picture, will clarify whether you are okay or not, and then you can have a very high accuracy for this response. So the idea is that you should have the correct rejection. So this is very, very important to have a high accuracy product. And we have attained that to the tune of 90%, 95% plus accuracy in detecting whether somebody is having the higher temperature or not. What are the different products available? Multiple range of products. Uh, starting from the EX series to EXX to T5XX to different models. Uh, this is the starting range EX, which is a fixed type of camera, a fixed type of lens multispectral imaging, two years warranty on the complete product, 10 years on the detector, and a combination of digital and the thermal camera. So starting from E4 to E8 XT, but uh, uh, and then the NETD level has also been mentioned over here. So if we talk about the EST applications, then this range is not recommended. The minimum recommended range is E75. But this is for all the electrical, mechanical, motor, all these applications. This particular product is quite useful. And uh, then the expert range, as I told you, uh, EXX and then T5XX. This has been very popular for the utilities. Why? The, this particular product has got a unique feature. That unique feature is we have got the Tiltable optics over here. The optics can be rotated for almost 180 degrees centigrade, which means it does not give a pressure on your neck, on your shoulder, on your wrist, and even on your eyes when you're using the gun type of camera. Because 75% plus of the object we want to measure are above your eye level. So this with you can use it with two hands, and since it is uh, tiltable optics, the optics can see, your eyes are at the comfortable position, your neck is at the comfortable position, your shoulders are not strained. So very popular design. Multiple different utilities, including India and globally, are using this particular te technology. Transmission utilities, this is the favorite product. Talk about Power Grid Corporation of India, they have bought it a lot. 
and the list is where Edco also has uh, this particular product, NTPC, uh, BSCS, NDPL also has one. So multiple different organizations has this particular product, which I am showing right now. So it has also a viewfinder. So when you are working in the sun, it becomes very difficult to see on the screen, but a viewfinder will help you a lot. So this range comes with different lenses also. Depending upon the situation and the application, different lens configuration is available. 24 degree, 14, 42 for the macro lens, and then six degrees also for the long range of measurement. So a very small object, as I told you, nut and bolt E1 can be seen from a product. This is P1K. I, I showed you 786,000 pixels. This is that product, which is available for the electrical utilities. And uh, then, as I told, we spent quite a good amount of money on developing the new chip detector for the thermal cameras. So the result was this, a very small chip, which was developed to the size of 10 mm by 10 mm by around 4 mm. And that changed the entire scenario. With this, we could develop the first pocket size thermal camera for the world. And this we have sold a lot very successful product, but now the limitation of this chip are fundamental. It cannot be used for very long range applications because till now the highest resolution, which is possible is 160 by 120. Again, it comes to the IFOB thing. So all the basic application like checking the motor or some insulation, then these type of products can be used. So for a person, uh, Touch screen for building applications, we have got the pocket size cameras, but similarly, if somebody is using the gloves, then this particular product might not be useful. Then we have a product like this, sturdy, two meter drop tested, and very few buttons to choose from. So this is called the TG series, automobiles, multiple different uh, options are available. It can even go up to 1000 degrees centigrade, multi-point laser is available, not very expensive. Within one lakh Indian rupees, this particular complete range is available. And then, as I told you, a mobile phone can be converted to a thermal camera, iOS or Android. This is called Flare 1. This is also available under the Flare range of products. I can talk uh, long on this uh, subject, uh, but since we have got limited time, uh, we even converted a digital meter to a thermal camera, even a clamp meter to a thermal camera, even a moisture meter to, to a thermal camera. So you can visualize first and then you can make the measurement accordingly. Let's say you have got a number of cables in front of you. You open a panel. You can make the you can see with the thermal camera which one is getting heated up and you can take the measurement of that only rather than May, making the measurement of each and every cable and you can take a picture also. Then another flagship product, uh, non-contact voltage detector, a very important product for the distribution utilities. We have sold thousands of this. This is the only product in the world which has got the vibrator. Now, if some cable is live or not, very difficult to see with the naked eye. Uh, multiple different voltage detectors are available, but they've got two features. One, it can give you the noise the voice and then the light but this has got the vibrator so all three when you are in a noisy atmosphere specifically applicable for the indian cities then this product is very comes as a very handy product so this was a brief introduction about the different cameras and the test and measurement range also then a very brief introduction two slides on x tech we have got 450 different products available under this umbrella whether it is clam meter, boroscope, power analyzer, vibration meters, ultrasonic, phase rotation meters, multimeters, even earth resistance testers. These are available under the extinct brand. And who are the users that can be used by the industrial MRO, electrical, contractor, electronic, HVAC, plant maintenance, safety environment, laboratory. So this complete range of 450 different products are available under the flare band as well. So as a summary, whether it is a very high range of product, which is SF6 gas leakage detecting camera or the utility T1K camera 
or a handy exx or test environment range or xtech almost 1000 different products are available under one brand which is flare now the next question comes into the mind is what about the training that is also available under a different setup name called infrared training center there are multiple free online sessions available then we have got paid level 1 and level 2 certifications these certifications earlier were conducted in india at a special rate of 66000 rupees plus taxes uh, now we are trying to do it online uh, that will be available uh, soon so level 1 level 2 the certification comes from sweden the examination comes from sweden the paper go back to sweden for evaluation and that's how it is conducted so that particular training program is also available it's a five day program level 1 and then it keeps on changing but the online sessions are free then uh, service and support we have got the local service center in india in new delhi uh, calibration also reference check can be done over here multiple different options are available extended warranty also available so uh, this was a complete uh, summary so we started with the uh, company introduction then very brief introduction